Are you thinking about moving to Solano County, but maybe you've never been here, or maybe you have, but you're just not sure which city is right for you? This video is for you. Welcome. Today I'd like to introduce you to the vibrant county of Solano and talk a little bit about the unique charm of each city that we have. Whether you're hundreds of miles away or in the next county over, there are some helpful tips in here for everyone. If you're seeking an urban lifestyle or a tranquil retreat, Solano County offers all of that and so much more. On top of it all, Solano County has some of the most affordable homes in the entire Bay Area. Its nearest rival in home prices, which is Contra Costa County, has median home values, which are nearly $200,000 more. With today's interest rates at about 7%, that will equate to a mortgage that's almost $1,500 less per month. If you're coming from some community that's a little bit further out, like Alameda County, you're looking at a savings of nearly two to three times that number. If that's not a reason to relocate to Solano County, I don't know what is. Let's begin our journey in Fairfield, California with a population of nearly 118,000 residents. Fairfield is home to Travis Air Force Base, a vital military installation with approximately 10,000 military personnel and their families. Beyond its military presence, Fairfield offers attractions like the Jelly Belly Factory, the Green Valley Country Club, Sassoon Valley Wine Tasting, and the serene landscapes of the Rockville Hills Regional Park. Travis Air Force Base is home to the Travis School District, which ranks among the top schools in the area as well as the county. Next, we venture to Vacaville, a picturesque city nestled among the rolling hills with a population of nearly 100,000 residents. Vacaville hosts a variety of community events, including the Vacaville Farmer's Market, the Fiesta Days Parade, a 4th of July fireworks celebration and parade, the downtown Halloween stroll, and so many more. Residents like to gather downtown to enjoy the local produce of the farmer's markets, the artisanal goods, as well as live entertainment on the weekends during the summertime. Vacaville is well known for its luxury outlets as well as the Nut Tree Shopping Plaza, which is on the opposite side of the freeway. Vacaville just happens to be my personal favorite and where I chose to settle down to raise a family. Continuing our exploration, we're going to head down to Vallejo, California. Vallejo is a vibrant waterfront community with a population around 122,000 residents. Vallejo is home to the California State University Maritime Academy, Yard, which visitors can explore downtown Vallejo and enjoy events like the Vallejo Farmer's Market, offering fresh produce and local crafts. Vallejo has some amazing waterfront views, but I think the main draw for a lot of residents of Vallejo is its easy access to ferry buildings that go directly across the bay over to San Francisco. If you're someone who needs to commute over to the San Francisco area or you love the San Francisco nightlife, then Vallejo would probably be a great option for you. Our next stop is Benicia, California. Benicia is a charming waterfront city with approximately 28,000 residents. Benicia is known for their downtown community events like their farmer's market, and most holidays they hold events for families and for people looking for entertainment. You won't want to miss exploring all of the boutiques and downtown galleries that they have on First Street. Benicia has grown in popularity quite fast over the last 10 or 15 years due to its restaurants and downtown nightlife. Benicia's small town feel and close proximity to both San Francisco Bay Area as well as the East Bay make it a pretty hot commodity in the real estate market. Next, we travel to Dixon, California. Dixon is a quaint agricultural town with a population of around 21,000 residents. Dixon is experiencing a massive new home explosion, offering modern living in a small town environment. Residents can enjoy the annual Dixon Mayfair and the local farmer's market. Dixon has a small downtown area with shopping and food and plans for larger retail shopping and restaurants closer to the freeway near the new development. Our journey now takes us to Sassoon City, California. Sassoon City is a small community that's nestled along the Sassoon Bay. With a population of around 30,000 residents, Sassoon offers a blend of small town charm and modern amenities. 
Visitors can explore the historic downtown area, which is held at the marina. It's known for its quaint shops and eateries, or they can enjoy the outdoor activities at the Sassoon Marina. Lastly, we arrive at Rio Vista, California. Rio Vista is a tranquil waterfront community nestled along the Sacramento River. With a population of approximately 9,000 residents, Rio Vista is a haven for outdoor enthusiasts, offering boating, fishing, and scenic riverfront parks. Rio Vista is popular for its large community of senior living, much of which is gated and overlooks the golf course and ponds. While the median prices of Rio Vista are really attractive, many commuters prefer to stay in the heart of Solano County due to the lengthy one-way highway and lack of retail shopping and restaurants. So this is a fair warning to anybody moving to Solano County. If you do not know it already, there can be a large differential in temperature in Solano County. The areas that are closer to the water, like Benicia and Vallejo, those cities experience cooler climates, cooler cooling off at night, and overall milder temperature than we have over toward the eastern areas of Solano County. Fairfield, I think, is a happy medium. Sometimes we get a little delta breeze wind in at night, especially if you're on the side of the freeway that's close to the delta and it can pull off your home in the evening time. So there is my roundup of the cities of Solano County. If you're looking to find a new home in Solano County, click below where you find my website. You can search for new homes based on area and specific criteria, and you can also sign up to receive market listing alerts, which will allow you to see how the market is performing in each neighborhood. The detailed market insight reports will allow you to search by neighborhood and set up notifications so that you can see when the market is heating up and when it is slowing down. If you'd like to see the most up-to-date information on market statistics based on city, click the link below that I have in the caption and it will direct you right over to my website where you can see all of that information at a glance. If you like this video, share it with a friend and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every Monday with all things related to real estate and mom adventures around Solano County. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.